What we're going to do real quick now is a valve adjustment. As you can see, I've got a twin cylinder engine here um, on our Model 44. So we're going to do a real quick valve adjustment on it. Um, this may be an issue where it wasn't starting or maybe one side is dead. We checked ignition, so, you know, pretty much assured we have a compression issue. So we did a leak down test on it, told us number two cylinder was dead, and that's where we're going to start. You remove the valve cover, get at your valves. Okay, you can look at them, make sure the components are all assembled correctly. Another quick check I do um, is I'll actually cycle the engine, turn it over, complete rounds, and watch my valve action because all the valves going up and down, both of intake and the exhaust, should go up and down the same amount, about a half inch worth of travel. If you don't see that in both valves, you need to determine why. Um, it could be an adjustment issue, it could be a seat issue, uh, it could be something caught underneath the valve seat inside the combustion chamber. We need to make sure those valves are working correctly and when the stationary default position, they're pretty much even too. So now I want to set the valves. So what do I do? Um, first off, I have to get top dead center, so we're going to remove the spark plug. Take that off, makes it a whole lot easier. And then um, Special tool number 37 here, a drinking straw. All right, you're going to actually put that in that spark plug hole. But first, what we want to do is we're going to watch the valves and get us on the compression stroke. Okay, we, to watch to do that, we're basically going to watch our okay intake valve go down. Now, as that comes back down to the seated position, I know that piston is coming back. Oop, here we go. We're going to cycle this all the way through. Okay, we got. Exhaust, piston going down, intake, pulling the fuel in, valve is closed, so my piston's coming up. Now take my straw, put it in this plug hole here, and I'm going to feel that piston come to the top. As the straw comes up out of the piston hole, I know I'm getting near the top, and you just watch for movement. When that straw gets to the point where it does not move anymore, I'm at top to the center. You can kind of rock it back and forth and just make sure you're sitting right on top. Bam. We're top dead center. Now, a little trick that I do is I mark my flywheel. Uh, I do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, I have a two cylinder, so I got to do the same thing to the other cylinder. This is going to help me. So, mark, uh, take a piece of tape, mark the stationary part of the shroud, and mark the flywheel side on the other. And you can see in the picture there that Mark is sh showing you that um, where the mark at. So again, if my engine moves for some reason, I can go right back to top dead center just by lining up them marks. I know I'm at top dead, now I can do my job. Now another thing that you have to keep in mind when you do valve adjustments, and I, this is maybe something that not a lot of people know, but on Briggs engines, we actually set the valves one quarter inch past top dead center. All right, so basically put your straw in again, what you can do is take your thumb, keep it about a quarter inch in away, a uh, quarter inch away from the top of the cylinder head, and rotate the engine forward until your thumb hits the shroud. Now you're a quarter inch past. You should be probably you know four or five degrees past that center mark. Um, now I can actually set my valves. All right. Now you'll see up here that I'm showing on most twins, we set the intake at four, the exhaust at six. Okay. Um, keep in mind. That's most twins. You always need to refer back to specific engine manuals to make sure you're setting the valves where they're supposed to be. They're not all the same, especially if you start going in between Briggs and Kohler's and other engines. Um, so rem uh, re refer to your specific engine manual to make sure you get those correct readings. And then get your fueler gauge. Um, fueler gauge you'll need. Sometimes you can get down to you know three, four thousandths of an inch. And this one here, we're going to do the intake first, so I'm going to set it at four thousandths. I take and go in the back between the valve and the rocker, and this one's a little bit on the loose side. I could probably put a six, eight thousandths in there. So I have to tighten up this one just a little bit. So I take my wrench, loosen the lock nut, then I've got an Allen wrench here that I put in, and basically I take, and I need to tighten this one, so I'm going to turn this in a little bit. And I take my fueler gauge, I put it in between the valve and the keeper, and I turn this in until I get a nice snug feel. Once I get a snug feel, I go back here, and I'm going to hold the Allen wrench and tighten my lock nut. And I'm holding this so that that screw does not turn in with the lock nut. Go back here, verify this is still a snug fit and not a tight fit. 
mine comes in and out there pretty easy, so I think I'm okay. But now if I could not get this fuel gauge back in here without really shoving it, I got to readjust that valve a little bit and turn that adjuster out just a little bit, maybe an eighth of a turn, just to give it a little bit of freedom that when I turn this lock nut, lock nut tight, I'm not changing that adjustment. So it takes a little trial and error, but you get the hang of it after a while. It's very easy. Again, I got a twin cylinder, so I'm going to do the same thing to the exhaust valve. Uh, check it, six thousandths, whatever, make sure it works. So I need a little adjustment, loosen the lock nut, do your adjustment, tighten everything back up, recheck, and you're good to go on that cylinder. Now, I've got a twin cylinder, so I need to do the valve adjustment to the other cylinder. So what I do here, now like I said, I've marked my flywheel. I know where the top of that center is. So all I do is I rotate my flywheel 360 degrees. I'm at the top dead center row, okay, because I marked this one. This one's going to be the same. I'm at top to the center, take my straw, and again, I remove the plug, I move it a quarter inch past, and I set this set. So, very easy to do, doesn't take that long, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you can do a valve adjustment on a twin cylinder, and you're back up and running. Um, so, again, mark your flywheel, set your valves, retest that you don't get them too tight once you, you tighten up them lock nuts, all right? Mm -hmm.